If you're a Warframe fan curious about Digital Extreme's next big project, Soul Frame, then stick around. This new game isn't just a reskinned Warframe, it's shaping up to be something special. From its intriguing development journey to the gameplay improvements, Soul Frame is already catching the eyes of RPG fans out there. But here's the big question. Does the current pre-alpha show real promise, or are there any red flags hidden inside of this hype? Well, let's dive into what we know so far. What's up, Chaotic Fam? It's your host, KSC TV here. And if you're new here, then this is your chill spot for all things RPGs, news, reviews, and as well as guides. And today, we're diving into the world of Soul Frame, Digital Extreme's latest project after a great 11 years with Warframe. They wanted to work on something new and fresh. Join me today as I go over some of the gameplay and combat of this pre alpha demo. All right, so we finally get Soul Frame. Honestly, I've been playing, playing this for a couple hours now, and I am starting to say that I feel like Digital Extremes has single-handedly saved their own game. And I say that because, like, this game, and, like, I made a previous video a while ago just talking about some of the new things that they have made for this game and just seeing, like, the recent combat. And honestly, they have single-handedly saved this game. It's honestly, I like it. So, for some of you who don't know, Soul Frame is the next latest project by digital extremes the same creators who made warframe now for those of you who are familiar with warframe soul frame is essentially a more slower methodical version of warframe and it has a lot of similarities like definitely it just seems like warframe like super high res <laughs> so to speak but before i get into like showcasing like all the things you do i want to show you guys like the main thing so this right now, like I said, I don't know if exactly if this is going to be an MMO or is it just going to be like an online, you know, just an online multiplayer game because you can team up with friends or you can tackle this solo. So they do just kind of drop you in the middle of the world. There is a major quest line you can do. And the only way you can actually follow that quest line is by snapping this bird and the bird will take you to it. Now, I have a couple of gripes with this bird. I wish that there was some way that the trail where the bird wants to take you lasts a little bit longer because I always get lost, but that's, uh, we'll talk about a little bit of that later. So this game is very open world. Now I have a feeling like this is where the MMO side of things come into play. Cause I don't think this game has been confirmed for, for it being an MMO, but yeah, I, I really do really do enjoy this game. Like I've been playing it for quite some time now and i love it it's definitely you could tell like this is definitely a pre-alpha definitely pre-alpha like there's not much going on but there's a lot for you can do and i was trying to just and i've just been trying to like explore as much as possible do as many things as i possibly can and thinking like i'm gonna hit a soft lock or anything like that and i have yet to hit any of that so basically i show you guys what it is. So you get this giant map and you basically can explore all of it. I literally just walked around without even looking at the map and was just single-handedly just going place to place. I was somehow underground. I end up in a dungeon that I didn't even know I was in the dungeon. It just, it was like the literal sense of a dungeon. Like there is a lot of things that <laughs> this game, like exploration is definitely there and it definitely showed that they didn't skimp out on that. Now let's get to the overall combat. I'm pretty powerful. So of course you can, I'm gonna get it off. Nope. So one thing to know, there is no auto lock on feature. gotta love it gotta love it yeah so you essentially can choose between three different weapon classes that if you would like to play as i am currently doing the rogue class i'm doing the rogue class and you can do a regular like straight sword and you can do a pole arm so i haven't like basically be careful when you are 
playing with uh, the whatever weapon you choose because you basically get locked into that weapon. Like I, unless you can able to find another one, which I haven't found one, so I've been stuck with the the rogue set for a minute. Now, not only do you get your main weapons, you also get a uh, this thing right over here. I'll show you. It's basically you got your abilities, so to speak, your spells. I am currently running a mage rogue build, if that makes sense. Which I got the rogue parts, I got the dual dual swords, and then I can bring out my orb, which my orb allows me to do magic. So so far, I have regular lightning, some like that, which is kind of broken, and I got my different spells that I can utilize, and they're satisfying. I will say that. I really love <laughs> the magic in this game. So far, story-wise, there's not too much really going on story-wise. Like, there's a little bits here and there. Like, I've talked to a couple of people, finished a couple of quests. But right now, I am doing the stag quest, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the same quest that was during the uh, original gameplay showcase demo that they did a while ago. So, I'm going to hopefully do this with you guys right now. But overall, like I said, I love this game now only thing i will also see it's very open world and what i mean like very open world it's whew, there's a lot you can a lot you can get into i would say all if you can literally end up in a whole nother part of the map and you will basically run into the as i call it the fuck around and find out type of enemies where they can be a higher level than you and they don't you know they don't play around but i've been leveling up quite a lot actually but the combat is actually nice i really do enjoy oh he scared the shit out of me the fire king sends a dark place the under city of Derm okay so we just met orlick i actually met him earlier i did a little small little quest for him and by doing a quest he is deemed as an ancestor and these ancestors which we don't know physically fully yet but these ancestors appear in what they call the nightfold which is basically your own hub area for your character very similar to these uh you know the spacecrafts that the tenno used in warframe so just to show you this is what the nightfall honestly the nightfall looks nightfold i'm sorry looks absolutely beautiful like this empty space standing on water it feels like you are theoretically in your inside your own mind in a sense but not really like it's definitely a separate space in the universe but how about over here this area allows you to customize your character further you get to choose your leggings you know what legs you have if you have any more equipment you can have your packs so your packs is what allow you to do your spells or attacks or anything of that sort so currently right now i'm using the old tempest which is the mage build i could swap it out if i wanted to which i think the other one was the fey build which this is more of a rogue build in a sense due to the fact of like i can turn a, i could cloak myself i could use a bird but i'm really really i'm really loving the the tempest build i'm really loving it it's really fun i've been dealing crazy amounts of damage then you have your virtues which is just your simple regular uh, upgrading your attributes you get between three you get courage spirit and grace these will definitely dictate how your character survives encounters what levels them up like your grace is your cunning agility and insight you know your spirit is your arcanics empathy imagination encourages your strength bravery and resolve so upgrading those will further upgrade different attributes of your character of course and you get your weapons now at the beginning of the game you can actually choose which weapon you want to start with but i have not found another of those weapons yet but it does hint right over here next to the combat arts that i get to use other weapons but not at this exact moment because i'm currently mating the daggers so you get the daggers pole arms the bow and arrow the long blade and you get a shield so right now and each weapon does get a specific skill tree to allow you to further improve those weapons so right now i'm just using the regular daggers which is pretty good been loving them fast with my magic i, I like the, the mage rogue build and of course i got i'm calling them huskers i don't know what he does i haven't understood what he does but uh, you can come over here and pet him and he loves every second of it which is great you always want to pet him at least once before you leave the night foe you know big boy and then that ancestor i was telling you about this is orlick 
he basically appeared in an iPhone after you saved him in the world and he appears here I still don't know exactly what was his full purpose other than like being a scribe in a sense for the player showing like different per people that you will meet like I just met Avocat, which is this uh, sneezing turtle looking thing but it just seems like Orlick is your scribe he keeps track of your progress throughout your entire game but yeah that is the night fold you can enter the night fold at any point in time as long as there's no enemies around and you can just fall back in like it is the coolest animation and you appear right back here let's continue forward show you really how we do it give me that backstab baby yeah and you can throw your weapon you got your hand to hand combat yes sir and then you can get your weapon back by calling it back which is honestly even cooler like digital streams really knows how to make make people feel like a badass and you also notice like each area you come across is explorable it kind of looks the same sometimes as you get into like some of the other areas and the enemies as well they all just seem like that you're like you see the same enemies multiple times but they would just have a bigger health bar if that like that's about it but it makes sense this is pre-alpha this game is looking to be it, it has a lot of hype like i've been sucked into it i can't stop playing it i'm really i'm thankful that digital extremes was able to give me a key to be able to play it and i'm loving every second of it and it's just so much to explore in this game so much to explore like literally they drop you in and the first thing they say is going on an adventure have fun i'm like have fun bro i don't what, what do you want me to do but i just literally to invoke your oh now they're teaching me about my magic yeah you basically have a pack and i could just light somebody's ass up bit, 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 bitch you wanted to i love it i feel like a god which that is one thing that warframe is good at making the player feel like a god and i was very worrisome at like how they were going to do with with this more slower version because if anybody who plays warframe bro play that game for not even an hour and you already like okay i feel like a badass i'm over here zipping and zooming i'm a space tech ninja you know like i'm this absolute badass so i definitely wanted to see if they can really get that vibe on a slower game and you can see it it has its bits and pieces like so far i have been absolutely killing it right now when it comes to like some of the things and of course you can use the i just backtracked you son of a bitch and of course when you're out in your dungeons each area has these little tombstone thingies which is acts as basically a checkpoint so if you die you can always come back to this area and when it comes to the story like i'm still trying to understand what the fuck is going on yep boom i'm over here rolling bowling balls at these motherfuckers ah oh, shit okay okay so i want to show you guys a little bit and you can of course you can parry hit him with the repos nope there we go oh it's avocat bro he's like a little turtle bro sneezes and everything bro you all right bro what's up bro it's so cute now my only i wouldn't say gripe uh, and it's one of those like I have to keep remembering that yes this is pre-alpha is that the world doesn't feel alive right and like I said don't don't heart me in the comment section yes I already know it's pre-alpha I have to keep reminding myself this because the game immerses me but I'm just like it's missing something and I'm like what is it missing it's missing people <laughs> it does have people like we've met certain npcs throughout the game it's just that i like i don't know if this is going to be considered mmo like there needs to be like there's areas where like there's people who don't attack you who don't aggro 
and there's areas that do and it's like bro what is like is it w which one is it well like i said that's a small complaint i don't even now we've caught it a complaint that's just a uh, observation really like that's just something i'm observing when i'm playing nothing really to you know harp over it ain't crazy i i can only imagine like this is just the overall beginning of what the dev team has in all like has in store for us and i have faith i i don't i'm not gonna be no debbie downer it was scary at first when it was first came out but i don't want to be no debbie downer like i want this game to succeed because it's been having me hooked and i'm just playing the pre-alpha and the fact that they have this much this much in store like and this is just pre-alpha like bruh and you're i'm just exploring like i'm actually i think what i'm doing right now is technically a main quest quest line that the devs like what the devs intended you to do but jesus christ it's a lot and the fact that i was able to why can't i go down there and if you ever lose your way you can always call on to your guiding sparrow because I've lost my way plenty of times because there's no like quest marker or anything of that nature, right? That doesn't point you in the right direction. So I'm just like, what? where do I supposed to go? Ooh. Okay, that's dope. I don't know what new weapon I just picked up or whatever that flame thing was, but I love it. Woo. Like, I really love, like, they really listen to their damn. Damn. Oh, my God. They really listen to their fans. Like, the combat feels good. It feels weighty like every attack like it means something it's not like you're attacking and it looks like i'm hitting them with marshmallows i just gained a new ancestor and it would say your ancestors passed into the night fold and then if I fall into the night fold, he would be, and now he's here. <laughs> and it seems like he's our, he upgrades. Yeah, he's our, up, our person that can help us upgrade. What in the hell is that? What the fuck? Bowling ball. I love it every time. But yeah, it's a soft lock, so you can't actually lock on to your, your, uh, to the enemies. It's just a soft lock. Like, your person will always, like, look towards his way, and your camera will technically always, like, look its way as well. I spent, like, a hot two minutes trying to figure out how to heart lock on. Until I realized, like, oh, I'm already locked on when it battle when your you know your battles happen. It's just a soft lock. Ocarina of Time, let's go. One thing I can say, this game looks amazing. It, it is visually amazing. It's like Warframe and Unruined Engine 5. 
Oh, yeah. I see another sorry motherfucker. Come here. Yeah, so my packed magic right now is I'm almost got most of all the abilities. And, of course, each other ability has you can level up quite a bit more. So, I, like I said, I've been doing a lot <laughs> with this with my character. Let's fall back in. Bowling ball. Oh, you you still got that smoke. What, what the fuck? Give me that. Oh, my God. And the fact that you could just parry in the middle of the attack, too. Like, can I parry? I can't. Okay. Thought I was him. Thought I was him. Thought I could parry uh, the uh, arrows. Oh, all right. I'm I'm really... I'm him Han. Himothy. Himmy Turner. I think I might have figured it out. Each stag is in the particular order that they need to be in. Wait. He's facing like left. There we go. I figured it out. <laughs> I fucks with puzzles. Ooh, now this looks gloomy. I love this. Bowling ball. Yeah, I'm fucking you up. Whoa. Brought her to the night fold. Did I just fatality her ass? On my, on my ocarina time. Whoa. What? What? The way... That was the little girl that, that. Evil grasp of I. And we still got the stag problem. Oh shit. Well, bowling ball. Whoa. Oh, the south? Oh, I fucks with this boss fight. The 
impl the story, the soundtrack? <gasps> oh. Bowling ball. There we go. It's so beautiful. This soundtrack is beautiful. That's the only way I can really say it. It's beautiful. So what I'm gathering is that we might be cleansing the world from evil. I think that's what I'm get getting from. Oh, wait, that's the little girl and the stag from from the dream thing. It grew up and then they both became evil somehow. Bro, this game's story is beautiful. What the fuck? Adopt. Eternal. I'm locked in. She grew up. Thank you. Bro, what? Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You. I do not know you. You look like the clades who skinned my lovers. Who brined my rivers. Who smeared their metal bowels on every wind. So let's hop back to the nightfall. That was quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. So let's see if I gained anything cool. I know I saw like a lot of stuff. Okay, probably not. It's fine. I'll go fuck myself. Dude. That was that was a lot of lore. And it it was nice callbacks too. Like I've been oh my god. Okay. I'm not gonna hold you guys here too long. Oh, shit. Yo. Whoa. Whoa. 
So something, so there's a lot changing in the world where this tree just turned. I, I'd never seen this tree red, but yeah, I'm not gonna hold you guys here for too long. This, this is Soul Frame. I need to know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. If you guys have already been following the entire Soul Frame saga, what are you guys thoughts? Have you already received your beta codes or pre-alpha codes, so to speak? Have you already received those? If you have, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Like I, so far, I'm really liking it. Digital Exchange really saved their own bucks. It definitely looked like it was like, so it definitely looked like it was on the, it was gonna, it was gonna be bad. <laughs> it was, it was looking really tough. And I do have some previous, uh, previous videos regarding Soul Frame. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave that the uh, card at the end of the video and in the top right hand corner so you can check it out. I will also leave in my Warframe video. I did do a little comprehensive review of 11 years later of Warframe because right now digital streams have really been putting out the stop for the content on Warframe and as well as making sure Soul Frame is nice and, you know, well kept, so to speak but the combat is fun i definitely enjoy the lore it's locking me in more and more as i continue playing because earlier when i was playing it earlier today i was like what the fuck is going on here but no now it's really like it's absorbing me in right now so i really can say like they really fix that the ui the bugginess it's a little bit like the bugginess is a little bit there but it's not as bad like it was buggy as hell during the showcase the backstabs are fucked up there was a lot of other things that was messed up with this game but uh, so far dudes of streams has fully fully i feel like this right here is hype hype worthy this right here is hype worthy if they would have released a pre that previous version or whatever they showed at the little showcase this game would have flopped easy but this right here is a much more polished version of that and this is still the pre-alpha we don't even know everything else that they have in store and i can't wait to see the roadmap so i can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it definitely i want to hear about sound off in the comment section below what you guys think about it other than that stay safe out there and it's been your host kic tv here at chaotic inc signing out peace